So the attack of the undead event for Call of Duty World War II has given us a ton of new guns and with these guns a ton of new variants and for today's video I'm going to be taking a look at one of the new guns variants. That gun is the epic variant for the lever action, the dread, in telling you guys if this variant is worth getting or not. But I'm going to go down through a lot of details to give you guys the big answer like iron sight difference, the performance, the perks and all that stuff. So my name is Nick and welcome to another video of mine. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> So the Dread, now I don't know if this is a unique inspect, but the inspect is pretty interesting as the first thing that pops out from this variant. It's also somewhat different from the normal lever action, but it's not that different. But overall, I really like the look of this epic variant. It seems clean and I don't see any scratches of those epic variants little rust stuff around it. Also, I don't have the normal lever action to show you guys scope difference or iron sight difference, so I'm very sorry about that, but I really doubt there is any. But the only way to get this variant is through the Quartermaster Collection, and here is its collection. First off, you have its two epics, Samurai and the Legion. Samurai costs 9,075 army credits, and the Legion costs 8,900 army credits. Then you have its two legendaries, Too Slow and Cowboy. Too Slow costs 1,825 army credits, and Cowboy costs 1,025 army credits. And last but not least, you have Rattlesnake and Field Up. Now, just a quick note, the Rattlesnake thing, like hovering over it, it was just glitched out, so I don't know what happened. But Rattlesnake costs 250 army credits and Field Up costs 125 army credits. So in total, this variant costs 21,200 army credits. Now for a variant this expensive, I know the one question you're thinking, is this variant worth getting? So let's break down this variant through multiplayer and zombies so I can give you guys the answer. So first off, multiplayer. Now it does have a perk in multiplayer and it's 10% extra soldier XP. Now that isn't a lot, but you'll see a little bit in double XP situations. For the performance, it's the lever action. For some reason, it's a god sniper and i really think they're gonna nerf it by the time this video is out i don't know or a little bit after by the time this video is out but i'm hoping they don't nerf it to the ground where it ultimately sucks but at the moment the performance is amazing for the lever action in both core and hardcore the attachments i use for the lever action in multiplayer is iron sight rapid fire extended mags and fmj now iron sight because the iron sight really pulls the full potential of the lever action to its ability and iron sight really does help with this gun and then rapid fire just so i can shoot a little bit faster extend a mag so i can have more shots in a mag because it's a sniper and it's a really good one so i'm gonna want that and then fmj just so i can shoot through walls a little bit easier or do some damage against some enemies that are behind walls now the accessibility for this variant is pretty easy all you gotta do is spend army credits to get this variant in the quartermaster collection but that's all i can pretty much say for this variant in multiplayer now let's talk about it in zombies now it has no perk in zombies but that's completely okay because the performance is godlike up until round 15 this gun is a one-shot kill with no perk or anything like that it's literally a one-shot kill by itself till round 15 and it holds a decent amount of mags as well but the attachments i use for this gun in zombies is iron sight rapid fire extended mags and fmj they're basically the same thing like multiplayer now for the accessibility it's actually pretty hard it's all rng you can only get it through the box as of i know of and it's pretty much the hardest thing to get unless you're super lucky because there are a ton of guns in the box now. Now let's compile all the information up to give you guys the big answer if this variant is worth getting. So first off, it has a perk in multiplayer but no perk in zombies. But you know, that's pretty much okay because the performance for this gun in both multiplayer and zombies keeps the cake for this variant being super good and it's insane how good the lever ac action is at the moment and i really think they're gonna nerf it soon now the accessibility is pretty easy multiplayer all you gotta do is spend army credits to get it and it's in the quartermaster collection but for zombies it's pretty hard because you can only get it through the box now the look overall is an amazing look and it's a really clean look which all camos really look clean on this gun for an epic variant which is really rare again for an epic variant so my big answer to you guys guys is no this variance isn't worth spending army credits for because there are free ones for the lever action out there and the lever action overall is a good gun and you're not going to want to spend 21,000 army credits just to get this variance when you can get a free one 
in the supply drop system. So save your army credits for something else because you should not spend it on this. But if you get the stuff for free through just opening supply drops, then go ahead and spend it only if you have the legendaries down open or anything like that but guys that's basically pretty much it for this video and if i did help you guys save some army credits drop a like it helps me out a ton and if you're new channel subscribe for more music content i upload monday wednesday friday and sunday and remember to hit that bell subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and also follow me on mixer.com slash to keep up to date on my latest fortnite stream so if you're into that i recommend checking it out whenever you feel like it also whoop up cards series plays right by now and i'll put it in the description down below series playlist is called the is this very worth it series and if you're interested in learning if a quarter master collection variant is worth getting or a free one from the supply drop system is worth using then this series is for you I go down through a lot of details like performance the differences between the variant and its standard and all that stuff to give you guys the big answer so if any of that interests you I highly recommend checking out the playlist after the video but again guys that's basically pretty much it and I hope you guys have an amazing day and also comment down below your thoughts about the lever action or not the lever action but the dread variant for the lever action do you like how it looks do you not like how it does have a zombies perk just any opinion i would love to hear in the comments down below but guys i'll see you in my next video and peace